Now, the mayor considers this the most important undertakings of his administration, and you heard him, it's a top priority. This gap is all that's left of last Monday's fire that killed three firefighters and seriously injured a fourth. This is one of 13,560 privately owned vacant properties in Baltimore City. Mayor Scott is making reducing the number of vacant buildings a priority. Anything uh, less than our very best attempt at solving uh, the problem would be a discredit to the lives of the brave firefighters we lost last week and the residents who we serve day in and day out who have been dealing with this issue for more than three decades. The mayor is ordering an all-hands-on-deck approach to handle the problem. City agencies have 30 days to report back on how they deal with vacancies. They'll also have to come up with recommendations on how to redouble those efforts. Preventing blight, reducing blight, eliminating blight as needed so that we do not experience the tragedy that we experienced last week. An expert with the University of Maryland suggests taking proactive measures to help renters fix the properties on their own. What kind of support could we provide those renting homes to help them keep them up and stay in them? Vacant buildings reduce property values, increase blight, attract crime, and pose a nuisance to neighboring houses. Clearing privately owned vacants often gets bogged down in the legal process before the property can be demolished or renovated. The city must acquire it or file a receivership to push the building to public auction. The mayor is already looking into reforming the tax sale process. He says he will use American Rescue Plan funding to finance new ideas to reduce the vacant housing stock. Certainly to create an environment that's safe for the firefighters to work and do their jobs. Our goal is to make sure that we never never ever have the same circumstance that happened this past week happen again. In addition to a financial investment, the city is also looking at legislative changes to accelerate the process. Reporting live from Southwest Baltimore, David Collins, WVAL-TV 11 News.